Hello, mate. How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a new episode of the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 200. And 11 today, powered by my awesome sponsor at Elgato. Now, guys, you know it by now. I use Elgato products to create my content every single day using a variety of different products from their lineup. Uh, and there will be at some point in time, it may already be on my channel. If so, I'll make sure I leave a link. But I'll be doing a review video of a new product coming out uh, that I am pretty excited about. So uh, I'll make a completely separate video for that. Uh, and I would love for you guys to check it out as and when it's live on the channel um and yeah like i said if it's out already I'll, I'll obviously let you know and then also down below you'll find a link to my elgato profile page where you can learn more about the products that i use thank you once again to elgato for being my awesome sponsor now as we crack on into today's episode i know you guys are going to start things off just simply by hitting that thumbs up button getting us to 3,000 likes. That's the sort of situation we like to be in. And you're also gonna subscribe if you're new around here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just the classic stuff that you do every day. Now, uh, I'm gonna start you off with, I think, how many is it? I think it's maybe three of these 75 plus packs, simply because that's all the fodder I had in the club at the time, but I certainly wanted to do as many of these as possible. And like I said, I will also be, uh, I'll, I'll probably go through literally from bronzes all the way all the way up to try and get some of the upgrade packs done, which will then eventually give me out some, what well, a silver upgrade ends up giving you out the, the non-rare golds, right? And if I can get that done, get a bunch of non-rare golds, then maybe I'll be able to get a bunch of these packs done. It'll give me more fodder. I mean, you can tell by like the title, the thumbnail today that I'm committing to the icon player pick. It's going to be the next thing we do actually is submit the most expensive squad for the icon player pick, the prime icon player pick. Because do you know what? I really fancied doing another one of those uh, stat reveal episodes because obviously it's different. It's not it's not a player pack. Oh, we get a little inform in that pack. Not too bad. I know it's low rated, but they're always useful. Um, but yeah, I, I want to do another uh, player pick because, of course, that will give me the option to do like the stat reveal. And I enjoyed doing that last time. Uh, and if we can potentially even get something brilliant from it, that would be amazing. Uh, it would be great, great content for the RTG for the series in general. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this preview pack, let me know what you think. Because I get myself a little 80, uh, 84 rated Illicic. 3,000 coins, maybe more on, a, on the right day. Couple more rares and a non-rare. Uh, position modifier, maybe that sells. And then also a player pick that was 81 to 83 rated. Do you think I can make 7.5k back from that? Should I be buying that? Because at the time of recording this, I still have a few hours that I can I can go ahead and claim that pack. After, I'll probably end up buying it, you know, just to see what we get in that player pick. Because if it's like an inform 83 rated or something, that'd be brilliant. We'd make our money back. Um, but yeah, if it was an 81, I think I'd struggle to get money back. I mean, we're, we're, we're toying over just a couple hundred coins here or there, right? So uh, maybe I'll just do it just for the bands to see what we can get. So this is the team that I'm going to be submitting the most expensive part of the Icon SBC, the Icon Player Pick SBC. 87 rated squad required and also a team of the week in there. So we'll submit the 90 rated Kalor Navas. Also say goodbye to 92 rated Kimmich and Red Lafont and, and players like that simply because, I I mean, I've got a red Kalor Navas in the club, so I'll use that. Uh, and I didn't really enjoy Kimmich when I used him, when I paid for him uh, a couple of months ago. So I'm probably not going to, not going to really enjoy him now. Um, I know he's a headliner and could go up and stuff, but that 92 rating uh, saved me so much money. Uh, I'd rather I'd rather put it towards getting like a a prime Matthias or Sol or something like that. That'd be brilliant. Um, but yeah, just that that would be nice. So I've got three squads to go. They're not going to be completed in today's episode. I'll be working on it as soon as I possibly can. Uh, you know, we've got a few days left as as of uh, as of recording. I think by the time you're watching this, it'll be, it will say five or four days left. Um, and I I know I need to, you know, figure it out. It's about a 700k SBC. I've done about 220k's worth. Uh, and I've got the rest to go. You know, worst case scenario, I can sell Suarez and use the coins to to get the SBC done. I don't particularly want to do that. Uh, I, I know I'll, I'll use some coins, but if there's a way for me to do it still using the 120-odd the K that we've got left, that would be good. 
We welcome Player of the Month Victor Ossiman into the club. More so for fodder because he required an 82 rated squad. Uh, and we're also going to get Zahavi as well because he just requires an 83 rated squad. Uh, and I had those lower end players in the club. But if, what I could turn them into is an 86 rated and an 87 rated special card. They, I might say goodbye to them really soon and just put them into the Icon SBC. Um, so yeah, and let me know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. Does Zahavi does deserve to stay in the club? Does Ossiman deserve to stay? Knowing the other sort of players that I have in my club already, I think they're probably just turning low tier fodder into mid tier fodder or fairly high tier fodder, I guess, uh, for the Icon Player Pick SBC. Uh, and then what do we get from this? This is a little board action. It's going to be a Zapata, right? It's always a Zapata. Uh, 83 overall, I'd say that's a times five. Uh, and well, as you can see, it's time for playoffs. I am going to head on in to the Foot Champs playoffs game number one with, well, proper game proper number one for Suarez and McKenney and stuff. Because I know we tried out, I just tried a little bit of rivals, didn't I? It didn't quite work out for me yesterday. Um, but we go 1 0 up, and it's actually Weston McKenney scoring uh, a beaut of a goal on his on his sort of debut. And actually, I did change to the 4 triple 2 with a wide Cam Zidane, and he ends up scoring the goal that ends up getting us the rage quit. So uh, both things there that I wasn't quite sure about actually ended up working quite well and paying off. So, yeah, fairly happy with how that's turned out. Almost on, give myself a little pat on the back. Um, and then we come up against this. That's probably one of the most ridiculous squads I've ever seen. On far, uh, Yeah, mega team, mega squad, full of full of just nutty, nutty players um, all over the place. Team of the years, icons galore. Uh, and yeah, I end up going 2-0 down and deciding to quit uh, because that's essentially what my last opponent did. I will play by the same rules of if it's if I'm two goals down, I'll happily move on. So then we go into the next match and come up against Player of the Month Salah, Player of the Month Mbappe, and then a special Neymar. And it's just like, oh goodness, this is going to be a tough one, isn't it? But I get a goal with Zidane. Four triple two working out for me. Wide cam Zidane, even good at headers. Uh, it means I can cross it in from both sides now. And then Suarez finally getting a goal. I mean, five minutes on the clock, he'd quit at 2-0. That guy with Player of the Month Mbappe. Oof. I mean, I must have been, I must have been on fire. Uh, I mean, to get a couple of goals that early on, it does, does sort of, yeah, make you think, yeah, we're we're doing all right. Um, and into the next one we go. Prime Butragueno, also that Yarmolenko. I've not done the objectives for Yarmolenko or who's the other one? Is it Tiago Mendes? Uh, should I be that bothered about them if I've got already got good players in those positions uh, in the club already? You let me know if it's worth it, if I if I should be putting the extra effort in to make sure I get them. Should I be doing them just to use them as fodder? I don't know. Uh, let me know. Let me know. And they might already have expired. I don't know how long they've got left on them. Uh, I, I'll have a proper check of the objectives. Good ball over that one from Suarez uh, onto a, a, a well, well-timed run from Cantona. Uh, and the volley was nice. Uh, and then actually Suarez gets himself another assist here. Struggling to get goals with the Uruguayan. But we are, you know, getting a couple of assists here and there. I'll be honest. He feels a little bit lackluster in the in the games that we've played so far. Oh no, this guy's got an attack of Mbappe, Ronaldo, Cruyff, and Big Weghorst. Uh, so I'm in trouble, and I certainly was in trouble. He was actually quite good. Um, he was trying to direct absolutely everything to this to this Weghorst, and it was working. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what a ridiculous card on this game. He is monstrous. He looks looks insane. So I quit at two 0 in that one. This guy's got RVP moments. Don't expect to see that every day. Uh, but McKenny gets himself another goal a couple of minutes in. Uh, but this game's not going to go as good as, as it sort of started out because I end up conceding there. I thought I moved the goalkeeper perfectly to save that one. Maybe I moved him too far or something. But RVP gets the goal. And then he turns the game around. Poor offside trap from me. Hey, it's been a couple of episodes since I've hit you with a, a classic rubbish lasty offside trap. Uh, and then he makes it 3-1 before I quit here. And it is that man RVP again. Just, I mean, yeah, moments RVP's got a crazy shot. Who knew? Uh, I'm not I'm not surprised, if I'm honest, because let's face it, he's got one of the finer left foots of uh, football history, hasn't he? Um, so, 
into the next one. I can't even really remember what my record is at this point, but I don't think we're going to struggle to actually get into the weekend league. It's more of a struggle as to whether or not we're going to get the six wins that give me the better rewards or whether or not we're going to, you know, bottle it and get four or five wins. So this guy quits. There's another one. That might be enough to actually give me... Uh, how many points are we on, Tom? Come on. Uh, there we go. We are up to up to 19 points. So, yeah, we're definitely in, in the weekend league. Uh, we just need... Just need a couple more wins to get the better packs, really, don't we? We come up against someone called Pro Skill. I'm not going to lie. I was expecting a Kazooie 2.0, you know, five-star skills all over the place. Uh, but I go 1-0 up after two minutes with Suarez. And actually, we get a second goal there with Pele. And I think, do I get a third goal? I must do. Yeah, I do get a third goal here. Pele into Suarez. Back to Pele. A little chip over the goalkeeper. That's going to make him quit at 3-0. Um, GG's. Yeah, didn't really get to see much about that player, whether or not he was any good, because I was too busy scoring goals. But um, good game nonetheless. You know, thanks thanks for the victory. Into the next one then. Well, that's Champions Finals achieved, at least. Uh, we literally just need to get one more win from two games, I think it was. This guy had a nice team. That Prime Maradona definitely scares me. If we can get a Prime Maradona... Oh, we can't actually now, can we? I was going to say, if we could get Prime Maradona in... Uh, in the player pick, that would be great. But I believe all versions of Maradona have actually been removed from any future packing. Uh, you, you know, this guy would have got him before because of some sort of license issue or something. Um, which is it is a little bit sad because, yeah, it would be nice to use one of, uh, one of the greatest footballers of all time. It would be nice to try and pack him. But, unfortunately, we won't be able to do that. He's not, in the, he's not packable in the game right now. Sub 2-1 up at half time. But this guy was properly on it like he was trying his heart out to get back into this one um and i needed this one for a, my final win for my sixth win he ends up getting it back i was two nil up and i'm now three two down so i throw the kitchen sink at him i push everyone forward i make my super sub changes it works charisma into Vinny um gets me the equalizer and as you can see i probably deserve to be losing this one uh, but i've i've caught it back to three all we go on into extra time. Extra time sees this guy score literally after two minutes. Uh, annoying. He basically ran down the end and, and, and got past everyone and scored. So I throw the kitchen sink at him again. Uh, and it's going to lead to Kresma getting a goal. I don't know who I was trying to pass that to. Whether it was him or... I don't know. But yeah. And then uh, actually staying on, staying on a ridiculously attacking formation. We end up getting another goal. Uh, and this guy dashboards and quits off of that. I think he might have been trying to do that as soon as he saw I went one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. I think he was going to try and be toxic to to quit before I got the goal. But luckily, I got the goal nice and quick because Vin Vinicius Jr. is so fast. Um, but yeah, like uh, there's there's the points to take us over uh, and uh, and get, get the slightly better wins. Uh, so we quit the next game. Had one game spare, so we just gave it to somebody else. And as you can see, we get ourselves rank number four in the playoffs. It's going to give us a rare gold pack, two mega packs, and that all-important qualification for the Champions Finals, which isn't for a few more days. Um, boards in the rare gold pack, then. What are we going to get? It's going to be, oh, an 85. You know, normally you see Argentine striker, and you're like, eh, it's a Cardi again. Uh, but no, this time it was Lautaro Martinez. Lovely stuff and a couple chemistry styles as well that I can either sell or use. And then on to two mega packs then. If we get fodder, great. If we don't get fodder, we get fodder. Because if we don't get anything good, we get loads of rares and non-rares that I can stick into some more upgrade packs. So we get Thomas Lemar. We also get a, a, a 81 rated inform. Not too bad. I can use that for something. Uh, and then in mega pack number two, the final pack of the episode, we can get boards again. No walkout. It's a little bit sad, but it is what it is, right? Don't worry about it. Take a little 84, uh, Luis Alberto, and an 83 rated Ochoa. Uh, not a bad mega pack, actually, when you think about that, just because, you know, with like the 85 triple upgrade and stuff, needing an inform and an 84 rated squad, I could do with those informs just. Uh, I don't have many in my club, so getting a couple there has actually been really quite helpful. Uh, and uh, yeah, if I can do the 85 plus triples with some of my lower tier fodder, turn that into some higher tier fodder, then that can go into the Icon SBC. That's pretty much the the train we're trying to ride on uh, to get ourselves up to our player pick. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm fairly happy with the squad, uh, apart from... 
uh, we won't be keeping Suarez. He got three goals and three assists in the 13 games that I tried. Maybe there's a couple games added on there that I was uh, trying to get like a player thumbnail for, for the episode and stuff. But yeah, he didn't do that great in all honesty. And I, uh, I don't know, man. I just, I wasn't. I wasn't loving him, and for that money, I think you should love him. So, uh, yeah, we'll we'll get the coins back, just in case, of course, we need them for the Icon SBC. But we will list him up. I'd take a little bit of an L, you know. I, the cheapest one was like 572 on the market. I thought I, I'll just sell it for 570. Uh, so we take a 7K loss before tax. He does sell quite quickly, though. Uh, I just had a feeling that I was going to end up really struggling to sell him um, if... If I waited too long, sometimes he rises up to like 590 and then sometimes I see him down at like 550. So uh, I'll take him in the middle and, uh, and lose a little bit on tax, right? It's not that big a deal. But yeah, I mean, anyone can go into that position. Whether or not I keep, I just use a player that I've got in my club. I've got plenty there. Griezmann, Mkhitaryan, Perisic, Charisma, Vinny, any of them could go into that, that forward spot there and probably do a great job. Um, but I will, I will also see maybe, maybe if I leave that spot empty and we try and get the icon SBC done, they'll just throw me a bone and give me a prime R9, uh, because the, I need a striker, you know, I've got an empty spot. Maybe that's how it's going to work. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching today. If you could do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. That'd be grand. 3,000 likes on this episode. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. If you're new around here, cheers. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram. Those links are down below, everyone. Check them out. Follow me. All of that good stuff. I'll be back again tomorrow. Take it easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.